Yo, what is going on you guys? This is Gaming with Sal and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I want to go ahead and kind of follow up on the last video that I made talking about how they brought back supply drops to Black Ops 4 and how they pretty much went ahead and changed how reserves worked in the sense that they removed them from tier 101 and after when they came to the supply stream system under the contraband section of the black market. Which by the way, if you haven't checked out already, I highly recommend you go ahead and do so just so you know exactly what happened before listening to what's going on within today's video. So pretty much Treyarch has addressed all all of the issues that have come with the way that they handled the reserves right after Operation Grand Heist went live and these changes basically include how reserves are earned now and how quickly they're earned and all that kind of stuff so I'm going to go ahead and break that down for you guys but that's not all I'm going to be covering. I'm also going to be talking about how David Vonderhart also responded back to the backlash that you know people have been giving to this new reserve drop system or the supply drop system coming back to Black Ops 4 and what he actually said will kind of shed some light on how people will now start to see Treyarch and how people will actually start to view Activision and just basically shed some light on the situation. So if you guys are really interested in that and just really want to know who is really the one making the decisions behind these supply drops or the way microtransactions are working within games such as Call of Duty, I recommend that you go ahead and stay here until the end of the video. But anyways, let's go ahead and first talk about the changes that have come to the tier system. So like I said, there was a lot of backlash with the way that they were handling reserves right after Operation Grand Heist went live because of the fact that they went ahead and removed the tiers from 101 and after. So basically after you complete the first one, 100 tiers, you wouldn't be earning anything anymore and you wouldn't be getting additional reserves anymore. The only way you can actually get these reserves is through the new reserve drops or supply drop system that they have brought back from past games such as Black Ops 3, Infinite Warfare, etc. And the reason why this was such a problem is because, well, in short, it kind of sucks how a person can buy all 100 tiers for a lot of money or grind his or her way up to completing all the tiers and then they don't earn anything and the only way they can earn something is the same way as someone who would be sitting at like tier 20 barely ever touching the game. And the reason why reserves are also very important now is because they're sticking a lot of cool content in these reserve drops, such as Mark II weapons, which are basically signature weapons, alongside with Mastercraft variants and even Blackout characters. So basically, they're sticking a lot of cool content within this game, but it's locked behind reserves, which are also taking a long time to earn and can no longer be earned through the tiers. Well, Treyarch went ahead and responded and basically fixed all of those issues by bringing two different solutions. So the first solution was that they went ahead and added the reserves back to the tier system from tier 101 and after alongside with the new reserve system that we have right now where you can basically earn one reserve case every single time you complete a certain amount of multiplayer matches and blackout matches or basically buying reserve crates which include three reserve items for 200 cod points so basically both the systems are now available for all players to engage with rather than just having the reserve case and reserve crate system alone and then the second solution that they went ahead and implemented was basically the earn rate of these reserve cases every single time you play multiplayer or blackout. So before they went ahead and fixed this issue, every single time you played a multiplayer match or a blackout match, you would receive a little progress towards your next reserve case. However, it basically went ahead and took almost about two hours of in-game time. Not just, you know, you being on the game, but actually you playing a certain part of the game, which once again is either blackout or multiplayer. And yeah, it would take two full hours. That's a long time, you guys. You know, just to get one item in the reserves and that item could be either a duplicate or a common stick or anything of the sort and on top of that if you wanted to get more than one item in these reserve cases the only other option you had was to buy a reserve crate which basically allows you to get three reserve items instead but you had to pay 200 cod points or in other words two dollars in real life money yeah that's not fair at all of course people were going to get upset with that but now they made it to where you can basically earn these reserve cases every single hour instead of every two hours which in my opinion is still a very long time just to get one single item i mean we need to make it where we can earn these reserve cases for maybe every 30 minutes rather than an hour just because there's a lot of stuff in these reserves you guys you might not realize it but from operation first strike and operation absolute zero there was a lot of reserve items within those operations itself yeah all of those items that people either didn't earn or didn't get they're also being thrown back into the reserve cases or reserve crates whatever you want to call them for operation grand heist right now on top of the items that they went ahead and added for this operation specifically so right now we have a bunch of different things that we can go ahead Head and pretty much unlock through these reserves which basically means that every single time you also get like a sticker or maybe like a camo for an individual weapon instead of an entire weapon class it pretty much just shows how low of a chance you actually have to get the specific item that you want so i believe that we should earn these reserve cases every 30 minutes of in-game time rather than just one per hour but at least they went ahead and increased the earn rate more than from you know two hours because that was just ridiculous you guys i don't know what to say about that good thing they went ahead and fixed it now the those 
those were basically the solutions that they went ahead and applied to the black market system when it comes down to this new reserve system and like i said you guys even though it's not the best i'm still happy about the fact that we can earn reserves in this new reserve case system alongside with tiers 101 and after so it should be a much better system overall than previous operations when we look at it that way so with that said let's go ahead and move forward to what i wanted to talk about when it came to david vonderhaar responding to the criticisms of these reserve drops or supply drops making a return here in black ops 4. so if any of y'all recall i did went ahead and say that in the beginning of this video or towards the middle i'm not really sure where but i basically mentioned how there's also blackout characters that are in these reserve cases within the black market system and that's where basically people got upset with david vonderhaar because apparently back in september when he had this interview with game informer where he basically answered 195 rapid questions about blackout he went ahead and also mentioned in that interview that blackout characters will always and solely be unlocked through missions or quests within the blackout mode now well if we look at it we can see that some of these blackout characters are actually locked behind reserve drops or reserve cases once again whatever you want to call it and two examples of these characters are jane doe and john doe which are these zombified humans that are basically skins that you can use for blackout and they're locked behind reserves you guys you can't unlock them through challenges or anything alongside with you know characters like misty from black ops 2 zombies and stuff like that so that's where people are getting really upset that technically david vonderhaar went ahead and lied to the community when he said that they would be unlocked through challenges only and that they will never be locked behind loot boxes to the point where players won't be able to unlock them unless that they go ahead and spend a lot of time trying to open each individual loot box but now as we look at it that's not the case anymore so in the end was david vonderhaar lying and was he actually being deceiving towards the call of duty community well this is what he had to say in response to those type of criticisms at the time this interview was conducted which was previous to shipping the game that's precisely and exactly how it worked if i went back in time and redid this interview i'd have to answer it the same way i did then things change along the way and not all of them are designed decisions other examples of things that changed since the interview we conducted are things like allowing specialists to be unlocked to anyone without having to quest based on inputs that players had cosmetics they earned but couldn't use them in blackout and also adding new characters for season pass holders based on inputs to give season pass holders more content those two things were not exactly in the design plans at the time it's a chicken and egg problem i can tell you what we have done and what we plan on doing but things change that i cannot predict or i didn't know about and this is true with the business side of things which have little insight into and even less control over the alternative which i've considered a lot lately is just never give interviews nor answer questions which is it i answer the questions as best as i can with the information i have at the time that i'm asked if time passes and things have changed since you could accuse me of not being clairvoyant but a liar is someone who is purposely trying to deceive you that's just not the case so basically what david vonderhaar is saying that in the end around the time that the game was supposed to come out or a few months before that he had plans on how characters were going to be used and unlocked within the blackout mode but when it comes to the business side of things which is pretty much where activision is you know calling the shots things change so i'm pretty sure what ended up happening was that when activision saw that blackout wasn't actually making as much money as they were hoping it would they decided that they were going to start making changes in how we unlock certain things such as characters or blackout skins and one of those decisions as we can see right now as of today is to take some character skins and throw them into reserve drops or reserve cases and basically have it where it takes a longer time to earn them if you wanted to go with the free option but you can get these items much more quickly if you wanted to go ahead and spend real life money on cod points and open the reserve crates for three reserve items every single opening and here's the thing you guys i'm not trying to defend treyarch or david vonderhaar in this situation at all if anyone who actually knows me on a personal level they know that i'm someone who is pretty much a fair person or at least i try to be where even if my best friend is wrong and my worst enemy is right i'm gonna choose the person who's right because that's just who i am i want to side with what's right and i have been expressing my anger and my frustrations towards this game whenever i rightfully needed to but as of right now from what i'm listening it makes sense as an employee because you got to remember treyarch is an employee to activision they are under activision's control as well as people like at infinity ward and sledgehammer games in the end we don't know what these guys actually have planned when it comes to just them and their team and who knows what if they actually wanted to make a game where there's no such thing as microtransactions and they wanted to create a game where people can unlock everything for free or maybe they actually are down with the idea if they see that their payrolls are rising we really don't know what's going on but at the end of the day what we do know is that activision is the one who makes the final calls on when it comes to business related decisions and those things are included when it comes to decisions that are made with supply drops and microtransactions at the end of the day 
Plus, when it comes down to someone like David Vonderhaar, he's only a design director at Treyarch, which means that he is only specifically there in terms of how the game is designed. There are so many different other roles when it comes to people at Treyarch and so many faces that are playing an important role when it comes to Black Ops 4 that we really don't ever get to see or hear from. David Vonderhaar is just the person who is the face of Treyarch and always represents Treyarch. So in a way, just because he's always in front of the camera and speaking directly to us whenever it comes down to the games that he designs and he takes part in, that it doesn't mean that he's the one making the final calls or agreeing with what everything that Activision is doing. But at the same time, who knows? Maybe he does. Or maybe he's with a team of people who do it. So maybe if we want to blame someone, we don't just blame him, we blame the entire team or whoever it is that really makes these decisions at the end of the day. But the point is that when it comes down to every single thing that has to do with business decisions and things that we as consumers generally don't like, Activision for sure is one of the culprits for these things that occur within games such as Call of Duty. But once again, I could be wrong. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below of who is at fault when it comes down to these decisions. And I would love to hear your thoughts as always, if you guys want to go ahead and share them. That's all I pretty much have for you guys in today's video. So if you guys enjoyed it, please go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe, click the bell icon so you don't miss an upload and follow me on my social media accounts to stay connected. Links will always be in the description below and I will go ahead and talk to you guys in the next one. So take care of yourselves and bye.